CJ dropshipping tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use CJ dropshipping. So let's get into it. Now, you might be wondering what is CJ dropshipping? Well, CJ dropshipping is a platform where you can purchase products from Plier directly and then sell them to your customers with you being the middleman between both of these parties. You don't have to really incur any warehouse costs or any shipment costs. You just purchase all the product and you have the supplier ship it directly to your customer without having to host any of the products yourself. Now, there are many different services that CJ Dropshipping provides. You can see over here on the CJ platform, you get product reviews import, you get product connections, automatic syncing, you also have order fulfillment services, warehousing, you have warehouses in China, the United States, Thailand, Indonesia, Germany, private inventory and supplier inventory as well. So some suppliers even have their warehouses set in the United States or Canada where they ship directly to your customers and it requires a lot less time than for your items to be shipped from China. After that you also have their shipping services so they do shipping with cash on delivery as well as CG packet, USPS, DHL, special line, jewel shipping and e-packet and on the pro version they have winning product recommendations photo and video shooting. You also have high quality checking, wholesaling, drop shipping training, ticket to management team, disputing online, 24 seven customer support and support and affiliate links. So starting off, you're gonna click on register on the top right over here and you're gonna create your account on CJ Dropshipping. So you're just gonna enter your email, you're gonna enter a password and then you're gonna confirm your password now you can also continue with your Facebook Google or Apple account as well so to make things easier you can definitely log in via your Google email but then you're gonna have to use this email to contact your suppliers as well so if you have a business email set up you can use that on your CJ dropshipping account as well so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna enter a password I'm going to click on sign in. So this username already exists. So I'm just going to add a couple of numbers. Now, once you have created your account on CJ Dropshipping, you can see over here, now you have your profile wallet tools account, and then you also have your support center. Now you can see over here that on the right side, you have your account details. So you have your sales amount, you have your wallet, you have awaiting payments, processing, completed orders, closed dispatch and pending orders as well. So how CJ Dropshipping works is that first, off if you go on your profile you're going to set up your profile as a verified seller because you don't want to seem shady to the suppliers and the suppliers don't want to seem shady to you so you can see on your basic dashboard over here you have your registration info your contact info this is going to be all your business stuff after that if you go on to your consignee management you can add a new consignee so you're going to add your consignee addresses over here so whatever their names are whatever your customers names are you can add them over here and you can ship worldwide using CJ dropshipping. You can ship to almost any country in the world via CJ dropshipping and you can see over here if you just click on the country section you can see almost all countries are present over here so you're going to add your customer addresses over here. After that you also have email subscription you can disable those as well if you don't need any updates for CJ dropshipping. Then you have your account security and declaration settings where you can see over here that you will have to declare your store order amount and the recipient will be required to pay the uh, tax taxes for orders valued above 150 euros. So if you're shipping something uh, that is of high value, the person that is on the receiving end is going to have to pay for any extra costs incurred. And then you also have your CJ order amount and CJ order amount needs to be declared. And obviously your customer is going to have to pay the VAT for that as well. Now, after that, first off, you need to understand what is the dropshipping center. If you click over here on the dropshipping center, you can find all of your tools related to dropshipping shipping over here. So first off on the top you have your MyCJ where you have your dashboard, sourcing, purchase list, photography, inventory, wish list, and custom packaging. And first off you need to do sourcing. And for sourcing I would actually recommend that you use Amazon FBA product, Amazon product hunting tools to find products over here. Now if you were to see that you need to post a sourcing request, you need to post something that you need. So let's say you want an individual product and you can add attachments over here 
and you can say if you want to do drop shipping or bulk purchase so let's just add a random image to this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find something like this then you're gonna add a tag as well obviously this is clothing you're gonna add your product title and then you're gonna say if you accept similar products or not if you want this product exactly then you can ask for that or if you're accepting similar products you can ask for those as well but we're gonna look for similar products then you're gonna add a target price and then you're gonna add a destination country if you have a specific one usually in these situations people like to product or market their product to the united states or canada or any country where there is a higher rate of people purchasing these low range yet um, bulk items so after that you're going to select drop shipping you're going to add a sourcing url if you have one and then you're just going to click on submit now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into cg drop shipping and you're going to find a sourcing link and add that over here and after that you're going to submit it now below that on the left you have your purchase list where you can add your purchase list so any products that you have bought for your clients you're going to find them over here below that you have a photography section where you can add photography requests so if you click over here at the top you can request for different images for other products so if i go on cj dropshipping and if i look at these products this item is a dog winter coat and if i want to view a different image for this item what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in a request to this seller that I want more pictures or more photography for this item and it might take a couple of days or even weeks for suppliers to reach back to you but it's going to be well worth it because you're going to sell it at a very very um, inflated price so if you like a product over here what you're just going to do is you're going to scroll down and you're going to do photography request and then you're going to add any type if you want a video or a photo and then you're going to add your shooting instructions if you want anything specific and then you're going to firm and then after a couple of days the supplier is going to reach back to you and tell you or directly submit the new photos so usually you don't need them with popular products like these that are selling out very quickly because they already have very detailed images regarding their products as well after that there is one thing that is the most essential that i would like to mention in this video is custom packaging now if you go back into your cj drop shipping center you're going to go into custom packaging and you're going to see the pre-designed packaging and your own custom packaging packaging as well so you can see there are many packages that tj dropshipping has provided for different items you can repackage them into any of these boxes and you can purchase them in bulk beforehand and then have them packaged within these boxes now i do find them to be very nice but if you want something custom you can always go for that if you go and click on my custom packaging over here now you can see i haven't added any custom packaging but you can always add your own custom packaging and provide that to your suppliers where they can create that custom packaging and deliver your orders within that packaging now below that you have your order section and you have your orders fulfillment disputes and delivered orders after that you can also create print on demand products on CJ dropshipping if you open the print on demand section you can see a design myself or buyer's design so just like you would do on redbubble or any of those other platforms you can actually make the customers design the products themselves send it to your supplier and once your supplier has designed it they can ship it to your customer and all you're really doing is providing a platform or a connection between the two so if you just click on start over here you can start designing your product or your print on demand product here on CJ dropshipping. Now this is just a very quick and easy basic tutorial on CJ dropshipping and how it works. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to start your dropshipping business on CJ dropshipping and I will catch you guys in the next video.